Hello everyone, I was a little hesitant on doing this because it meant I had to sacrifice five of my rare artifacts to create this one epic, and still being early on in the game and the Dimensional Rift just coming out, I really don't have a lot of these artifacts to deal with. But I'm glad I did because first try going against Blader Zoltan, I beat my record best. Unfortunately though, I did try to go and stop it so I could get even better numbers, and I didn't get the chance to face him a second time. And spent a bunch of gems to retry the Abyss and never saw Blader once again. Now I say we had to sacrifice five of them because we need to get three of the blue magical powder, and the only way to get those is to go and dismantle one of the rare items. And then you can see that the other two are going to be needed to go and craft this thing along with having some abyssal embers and the dimensional essence on it. So it is quite a lot that's needed for so early in the game. But the Goblet of Wrath, that's the one I'm talking about here. And just to kind of keep in mind for the epics themselves, there's 14 altogether. So five of them that you can see here that we can craft. Another five that are going to be used for resources to go and take the legendary ones and craft those. And then there's four that can't be crafted isn't used for materials, and they're just hanging out inside a dimensional rift, hoping that you'll find one. Now the Goblet of Wrath is going to be able to throw on any hero, you see it say any job there, pay attention up there because that's where you'll see the things like healer, dealer, and you know, whatever the other ones are. You know where I'm going with this. But when we don't have any levels behind this, this is going to decrease our energy level for our active from 100 to 90, but when we take it up to level 20, it drops it down to 80. And it seemed like when going into Blighter here, and these things only cost an 80 for an active, this was just fire after fire after fire, and I was totally annihilating. Like I said, first try, beat my personal best. Now I was going to make this video a little clickbaity and say that this is the best artifact and it's only an epic, but then I saw this Spear of the Monster Hunter here. I'm really looking forward to getting to this point. Obviously, we jump high in attack on it here. I think the other one at level 20 is only like 6%, but you can see here the legendary ones, at least at a legendary 3 star or level 3 legendary, I still don't know how to call these things. We're dealing a good amount of attack, and then when we go and hit two or more enemies, one of them is going to be getting a 40% attack bonus to them. So reduce energy or not, I think by the time I go and throw one of these legendary ones on there, it's just totally going to trump it. But for a couple of days in, this Goblet of Wrath has already proved itself a good deal on it. And I did try it on Kion on the other bosses. I was able to go and get a new high score of that, but it didn't really seem to be as crucial and work as good as going up against Blighter with Lilith. So curious to know what you guys are doing with your artifacts. Are you waiting until you're stockpiled up or the second you're able to craft one of these things, are you going to do it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys are still having issues with getting four bingos inside the bingo event from New Year's, take a look at this video right here. Thanks for watching. And remember, I pick my butt.